back and welcome to Blood, Sweat and Gears. We're going to be doing part two of the steering wheel resto. And in this case, we're going to be doing the steering wheel swap. Uh, we're going to take this old steering wheel and put the uh, rewrapped steering wheel from the previous video uh, into this. Before we continue on, first let's talk about the tools that we're going to need for this project. Okay, so here's what you're going to need uh, for this project. Besides the steering wheel, you're going to need a 24 millimeter deep socket. Uh, that's a half inch drive. Uh, then on the quarter inch drive, we have an eight millimeter socket. A couple of extensions you may or may not need. And then uh, either or, I pref actually prefer to use the pick, uh, but you can use a fine flathead uh, screwdriver and that'll be to remove the uh, I think we can show it here <clears throat> there's gonna be a cover uh, on both sides of the steering wheel and you're gonna have to pick that out and uh, either using the pick or the flathead screwdriver a nice thing to have is going to be uh, a pickup magnet uh, this is very handy because when you go in here and you try and get the uh, the bolt that's in there I think you can see that uh, if the bolt won't come out you can just use the magnet to get it out I find these to be very very handy and then when we put it all back together just a little bit of Loctite uh, don't need much just want to make sure that it doesn't vibrate out Now that we know what uh, tools we're going to be using for the project, let's talk about the steps that it will take to uh, actually swap out the steering wheels. Now the first thing we do need to do, uh, you can probably see that the hood is up. I've already disconnected the battery and generally give it about 20, oh, 20 or 30 minutes to uh, let the uh, capacitors discharge that are in there. Uh, we don't want this going off in our faces. Uh, from there, here are the basic steps of what we're going to do. The first thing we're going to do is on both sides of the steering wheel, if I can find it here, there it is. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, there is a plug on both sides of the steering wheel, a little plastic plug that you're going to remove. There is an 8 millimeter bolt inside of both sides, and you're going to remove that. Uh, that should allow you to slide the horn and airbag assembly out and you'll be disconnecting uh, a couple of plugs that are in there. Once that's out, there's going to be a big bolt in the center, which is 24 millimeters. We're going to try and get that out using the half inch drive. If you have an impact uh, gun, I definitely recommend that you use that. Uh, I don't have a half inch drive, so <laughs> unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do that. Uh, then once that's out, we're going to reverse the process putting in the new steering wheel. So with that, let me get started and uh, we're going to do this fast time uh, so you can see exactly what I just described. As you can see, there are two clips to the clock spring, and there are, on this particular side, it looks like there's two releasing tabs. I'm not sure if I can really show it. Let's see if I can get those to release. So if you take a look, there are two plugs and there are two tabs on each of the plugs. If you squeeze them in, and you should be able to unplug each of these. Now, taking a look at it, it does look like they're keyed slightly different, so you will not be able to put them in wrong uh, when you put all this back. So that's a definite good thing. So here is the horn and clock spring assembly for the airbag. <clears throat> now, if you take a look in, I think you might be able to see it. There's the 24 inch, 24 inch, 24 millimeter bolt. And it looks like, 
I will definitely need to use an extension on this. I might have to get a larger extension. Nope. Now there is a ground right here. Uh, you probably don't need to remove that since that's part of the assembly. And now we'll get this off. However, let's see if we can find this. There it is. You do have a couple more plugs. These are going to stay in. And then, uh, let me bring this up close here. Let's see if we can see this. Let me get... On the back of the steering wheel in the center plug, what you need to do is take the pick and bring it on the top and then there is the detent here that you can just push down and it slides out really easily. Uh, it's funny trying to figure it out because you can't quite see it, but it worked. So there you go. We now have the old steering wheel out. So let's take a look at this thing <clears throat> and why I'm removing it. Uh, if you take a look, particularly on this side over here, you can see the discoloration, the scratches in particular. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can make some noise. No, I guess not. But this is all rippled here. I don't know if it's heat damage, damage from rings. It looks pretty bad. This side is, uh, is scuffed up a little bit, uh, but over, overall not too bad. But what I plan on doing is popping these off, uh, refinishing it, and then the leather itself is not awful bad, but I'm going to try and do some restoration on that using the super glue and sandpaper uh, method and then re-dyeing it so it looks pretty much brand new. So let's go and reverse the process and get the new steering wheel, or should I say the newer recovered steering wheel back in. Looks so like you got it all done. We have the new steering wheel in uh, with the, the reed leather. It looks really good. I, I like this. Again, uh, I wish that I might have tucked it behind here, but I'm going to live with it as is. I really like the black in comparison to the uh, fake silver. Uh, I think it's probably about $100, $150, maybe a little bit more. I think there's aluminum billet that you can actually get from oh, one of the online uh, muscle companies, uh, muscle car companies. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, that's, that's always an option uh, depending on how the leather looks and, and how I restore that. We'll see what happens with the old uh, steering wheel. Uh, probably I'm going to sell that. Uh, otherwise, it's going to go up on the wall behind me for a little while. Uh, it's a good steering wheel. All the parts are in it. Uh, the cruise control, everything works. So we're going to be good there. Uh, let's go around to the other side and quickly hook up the battery and we should be good to go. And with that, I think that pretty much concludes this uh, video. Part three uh, that I'll get to in a little bit will be the actual restoring of the old steering wheel. And again, that's going to be restoring the plastic and restoring the leather and seeing what we can do to have that come out. Uh, with that, Hey, keep wrenching things, um, make it a great day, and together we're going to be doing some blood, sweat, and gears.